Hello, welcome to Soulprint and Intuitive Tarot. My name is Cindy. So, um, first of all, thank you to my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you here. To my donors, oh my God, thank you so, so much. Um, it humbles me every time. Um, I am booking private readings um, the third and fourth week of July at this point. So if you're interested in that, there is a email address in the information description box below. Just fire me off an email and I'll send you the information you need. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. So for my established um, subscribers, who of course you know I all adore, um, they're sort of used to this. But for some of my new ones, I'm just going to take a quick moment to explain. So one of the things I can do in addition to sort of intuitive tarot readings is I can direct channel information. So while I can access that information from a variety of sources, I most often will channel that information from a soul group um, by the name of Masudius. This is a soul group that existed in um, the area we now know as Ethiopia like eons ago. And I was a part of that soul group, um, which is why I am able to link so easily to them and channel. Um, for those of you who might be interested, in the description box below, there is a link. And that link is going to take you to the Soulprint Insights channel. Um, the Soulprint Insights channel contains a body of work that has to do with a, a lot of the channeled messages from the Masudius group. It covers everything from, you know, protecting yourself from vampire energy to, um, you know, what happens in suicide, what happens after death, um, you know, positive and negative energy. It, it, there's a broad spectrum of uh, channeled messages there. There are also um, videos about crystals, working with pendulums, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. So if you haven't checked it out, I certainly invite you to take a moment and scoot on over to the Soulprint Insights channel and um, see if there's something there that you might find interesting. So what I'm going to do, this has been requested several times, and I'm just kind of thinking, okay, now like already time to do it. I think it's a great time to do it too, because this is a long weekend in July. Um, so happy Canada Day to Canadians, happy Independence Day to Americans, and happy whatever else maybe being celebrated around the world. So the request was basically this. Can, can sort of a higher source give us some insight or some clarity on what the heck is going on in the world? I mean, it is. it feels so chaotic. It feels in some ways as if we're being spun backwards in time, as we're striving to move forwards in time. And I just thought that um, in answering the request, this would be a really timely time to do it because on the one hand, we can see sort of at the same time, the spiraling backwards and the spiraling forwards. So here we go. Let's get started, shall we? Well, it's been a long time since we have had the opportunity to communicate with you. We are, as always, grateful and appreciative of having the ability to pass along some of our insights to you. As you, the citizens of the planet of Earth, continue to work towards achieving a more harmonious balance of as above, so below. This is not a, a challenge to be taken lightly. It is hard, frankly. It has been attempted and failed multiple times on the planet. Now, when we say failure, please understand 
we are talking about previous civilizations such as Atlantis and Lemuria. Civilizations who tried so hard to achieve the balance between sort of intellect and the heart, achieve the balance between the physical and the spiritual. And while those civilizations continue to exist at a higher or different level of vibration on the planet Earth, the challenge and the quest, if you will, has always been to actually achieve the balance in a broad way across the entire planet. And so, again, the attempt is being made. Now, as you know from previous you know, communications we have had, that at this time, multiple, multiple, multiples of uh, light workers have transitioned to the planet and have done so over literally the last hundred years to ensure that as the current challenges bubbled up and came to the surface, as once again, the, the balance of light and dark is trying to be achieved in harmony. There are so many more light workers who are on the planet who are dedicated to moving the energy forward for the highest accomplishment. As we watch over, and we being the spirit realm, watch over we continually send you our rays of love and support and light because that which you are trying to and frankly succeeding at accomplishing is a restoration so that the balance of light and dark is in harmony. One cannot supersede the other because in fact one needs the other in order to be seen, in order to be activated. If you only have light, you have no concept of dark. If you only have dark, you have no concept of light. It is with the other that the beauty and the meaning and the purpose of each is finally realized, recognized. And so, what is going on in the planet now is a shift, as you know, towards the fourth and fifth dimension out of the third. Now, there are many who are still very, very attached to the third dimension, and that is okay, and that is as it should be. But slowly but surely, that energy that has frankly held the, the, the citizens of the planet in place for a very, very long time, is now ready to transition to a slightly higher vibration. That higher vibration is going to bring into balance and into harmony more of the higher intention energy, such as love, hope, Gratitude, appreciation, inclusiveness, understanding, compassion, balance, harmony, to name but a few. In doing that, the lower energy vibrations of greed, of, of contempt, of hate, of power over others, of cruelty, of war, of ego-driven decisions of harm will diminish and find their place. So if you look backwards in history, you can see where the lower intention vibrations have always sort of held a slightly higher concentration of power or energy than the light-filled ones. There has always been more. 
There has always been greed. There has always been hatred, a lack of understanding, a determination to do it one way and invariably that one way was deemed the only right way. This is not accurate, but it is a reflection of what has been a part and parcel of the progression of civilization upon the planet for a very long time. And so now we are at a place where there is an attempt to find the harmony once again so that there is a sense that the higher intentions, the higher emotions, find their place and their acceptance and they are not continually threatened or challenged. So what you have, what you witness right now before your very eyes is, for example, the situation between the country of Ukraine and the country of Russia, where you have a ego driven ruler who was determined to take what he determines is his to take by any force, using any means of destruction he has at his disposal. And you have millions of people who are adhering to that mindset and that philosophy. You have another country who is working very, very hard to maintain their identity, their selves, their sovereignty. And while they have to push back in kind. What you do see is countries all around the globe who have come to their aid and their support, understanding that the higher intention motivations must win this current challenge. Where the rules of engagement from time before is no longer an accurate reflection of the current vibrational energies of the people and the planet. Because there is more and more a transition to fourth and fifth dimension energies. As that transition continues, the curtains that divide become more and more transparent. And it then becomes much easier for the physical world and the energy world and the spirit world to integrate. And so there comes a time when everyone can understand, everyone who wants to understand, can access the guidance and the wisdom that goes beyond the current tangible limits. The struggle continues, but there is power and healing in the fact that so many have rallied around. And it is just not the governments. It is you 
who send prayers, who offer layers and domes of protection. It is you who send good thoughts, who make donations, who light candles. You are doing the work of higher intention. And as you have come to see, it can be challenging. It's not an easy thing to stay in that place of hope and belief and faith and trust and optimism. But we implore you to stay the path because what you cannot see and we can see is the awareness and understanding of how much closer you progress day by day, thought, word, and deed towards that higher level of vibration. And while there are many countries around the globe that are suffering unrest and discord, certainly the situation in the United States has the eyes of the world watching it. As it is bearing witness to the destruction that can be caused by unchecked ego unchecked power and unchecked corruption you are witnessing the impact and the effects of the few determining that the many must abide by whether it is rules or laws or beliefs or regulations this is not the energy as as the energy and the people of the planet move forward. And so just like a struggle between two countries, in the country of the United States, you have the struggle between two ideas, two philosophies, two ways of seeing and two destinations. One destination is toward continued and increased greed and ego and dominance. And the other is towards that place and space where every single soul is deemed to be from and of a divine energy or source. That is the energy that will and must prevail in order for the harmony between light and dark to be achieved. You know, There are times when civilization believes that us above is flawless and perfect and as below is evil, corrupt, and a struggle. But in actuality, it is a harmony, it is a balance. Why is it not perfect? because it is ever evolving. It is ever expanding. It is ever taking in new energy, new ideas, new concepts. And so as above is not a, a stagnant place of perfection. It is a place of growth, expansion, awareness, and understanding. And that 
that is what is attempting to be achieved. That is what the goal is. And we want you, together with all of us on that energetic plane, whether you see us as an energy source, whether you see us as the divine, whether you see us as angels or angelic beings, whether you see us as beings from other dimensions and galaxies, we are that and all and all. But together, we stand at the ready to continue to help and guide and support the efforts that are currently underway to move the lower vibrational energy aside. And where there is a true desire to heal and be uplifted, to allow that to take place. And where those energies can no longer function in a higher energy vibration for them to find that place and space where they can rest and evolve and move forward at a pace that is theirs. Understand there is no right or wrong. There is simply that which is in higher consciousness of more light and that which is of lesser consciousness, lower consciousness, and less light. And remember, it is about finding the harmonic balance. Do not think that as above is perfect and as below is somehow damaged. <laughs> it is not. It is simply the perfect and imperfect dance of the balancing of energy. It is and always has been the will and the desire of the soul's journey and purpose upon the planet that dictates, controls, and creates where the planet goes and where the civilizations go. We've told you before, there is no singular isolated being that says you may have this and you may not have that. It is always and has always been within the hearts, the minds, and souls, the divine energy of each to propel where the consciousness goes. This has been a difficult process. We are with you. We walk beside you and we understand. But we implore you, do not lose hope. You are gaining ground with every day, in every way. Do not lose your focus. Do not give up in despair. That which you believe takes too long is but a flash of time in actual reality. And understand for a moment and Look to nature for a clear example of this. 
what happens when a force tries to push its way forward in a way and pace and speed that that which is surrounding it cannot absorb, cannot react to. A torrent of water coming down faster than the ground can assimilate creates flooding. A fire, a tornado, a hurricane. These are forces of nature, but they are forces of energy. And so while there are times, perhaps many times, where there is a sense that this is simply taking too long, do not give up hope. You do not want a flood or a tornado or a hurricane. You want a transition that brings those who can hear, who can see, who can feel, bring them along, not shun them to the side. Because in that inclusion comes the manifestation of the highest intention and the success of the goal of this time and space in the evolution of the souls upon planet you call Earth and home. In conclusion, we offer you hope, support, we offer you comfort in the knowledge that even if change is slow, it is change. Even if the fight is harder than you expected, it has its value and its purpose. And while many, many, many light workers of which you are, are becoming drained and tired, rest, restore, rejuvenate, but do not give up. You are all too special. You have come so far. And know that we walk step by step with each and all of you here on the energy spirit realm. We hope that this message has brought you perhaps clarity, comfort, comfort, understanding, insight. But whatever it has brought you, we offer our humble gratitude for you hearing our words and considering if the wisdom resonates within your soul. We remain at this time Masudius. Okay, so as usual, I have nothing to add to the wisdom of Masudius's words. Please remember, all Masudius channeled information is copywritten under my own personal name. May you continue to receive the blessings of wisdom, clarity, and love.
Take care. Be well.